This video is to help the guy that chronically finishes early. We're talking less than one minute. We're gonna talk about a medication that can actually help treat this called Depoxetine. We'll break the video up into three parts. Part one is gonna be how Depoxetine actually works chemically. That way you have some understanding. Part two is gonna be the clinical research. How much longer will this medication help the man last? And then part three is gonna be best practices, namely some of the things you can do to maximize the pros and minimize the potential cons, but before we get into that, a quick medical disclaimer. This is not medical advice. This should not be used to treat or diagnose medical conditions. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Now let's get into part one, how Depoxetine actually works. Depoxetine is an SSRI, a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Before you cross out of this video, because I know a lot of people do not wanna take this, it has some unique properties that are not associated with other SSRIs. But if you have no idea what an SSRI is or you have no idea how it works, just quickly we're gonna go over that. So I just put together two charts. The first one is showing two neurons. Okay, you have neuron A and you have neuron B. Neuron A is gonna release serotonin into neuron B. It's gonna hit the receptor sites and then it's gonna cause a cascade of events to happen that people that are taking SR SSRIs, they want to happen. In our case, for this video, it's to delay ejaculation. So what will happen though, is when serotonin is released and that gap between the two neurons is called the synaptic cleft, you'll have some of neuron A reuptake some of that serotonin and store it. So it's not activating anything, it's just basically being stored. What an SSRI does right here, think of it as a shield. It prevents serotonin from being reuptaked by neuron A and it leaves more serotonin in the synaptic cleft for neuron B to basically swallow up and have that cascade of events. How this relates to depoxetine and in our case, delaying ejaculation. So one of the downfalls of people on SSRIs is they'll have an inability to orgasm. That is one of the listed side effects of, of a lot of these SSRIs. So for guys that finish way too early, you don't wanna orgasm super fast, but you also don't wanna not orgasm. You don't wanna trade one bad thing for another bad thing. So more or less what serotonin will do is it'll activate certain areas in the brain, which basically controls an area that I couldn't believe is is the actual name, it's called the spinal ejaculation generator. When you're activating these areas of the brain, it'll actually kind of inhibit that spinal ejaculation generator, which is what coordinates the symphony of biological events that allows for ejaculation. So it inhibits that. So if you inhibit it too much, again, you're not gonna ejaculate but we wanna inhibit it a little bit. And that's where Depoxetine comes in and why it can be such a, a useful medication. So Depoxetine has a very short half-life of about an hour and a half, and it peaks one to three hours. The effects peak one to three hours after taking the medication. So it's an SSRI with a very short half-life and it's used on demand. And as a result, you're not gonna have it chronically build up in your system because you're using it only on demand. And on average, you're probably only getting laid once or twice a week. Now, if you're getting laid every single day, maybe you would have some of the side effects maybe associated with other SSRIs because you do have a consistent level. But in this case, we want the medication in and out very quickly. That way it's gonna delay ejaculation, but it's not gonna build up and potentially stop ejaculation. So Depoxetine is used successfully in a lot of guys. That's just the very basic understanding. So how an SSRI works, the fact that it has a very short half-life and it peaks very quickly. What does the actual research say? Let's get into that right now in part two, the clinical research surrounding Depoxetine. Does this stuff actually work? How well does it work? How much longer can we expect guys to last while taking this medication? Let's dig into that right now. So the first study we're gonna look at is titled, Efficacy of Depoxetine in the Treatment of Patients with Lifelong Premature Ejaculation as an Alternative to Sertraline Therapy. So more or less what these researchers did is they divided people up into two groups. They all, everybody had lifetime premature ejaculation, but group A tried sertraline successfully, group B tried sertraline unsuccessfully. So sertraline is a different SSRI brand name Zoloft. It is used off-label to help guys with premature ejaculation but it doesn't work for everybody. What were the results? 
We can see that right here, right from the conclusion. Although both dipoxetine and sertraline are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, dipoxetine therapy is satisfactory in 67.5% of patients with lifetime premature ejaculation in whom sertraline treatment unsatisfactory. Not exactly great English, but this is a Chinese study that was translated. And the effect of dipoxetine was independent of the effect of sertraline. So it does seem to work across the board, whether sertraline worked for this individual or not, right around 67.5%. How much longer did these guys last? So we can take a look right here. So week zero is baseline, and it's divided up into a, a fraction of a minute. So group A, 0.68 minutes with point. 31 variation group B 0.64 minutes with 0.28 in variation so less than a minute during treatment though you can see by week four now we're at 2.68 minutes for group A with some variation 2.59 minutes with group B with some variation and then week 12 it went up a little bit more but still roughly the same so it did work it went from guys going in like 40 seconds to guys going in like two and a half minutes now that's significantly better. What are the side effects? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Well, it's right here. So group A, 64 subjects. Group B, 80 subjects. Dizziness between nine and 10%. Nausea between six and 8%. Headache between three and 5%. Diarrhea, three to 4%. Fatigue, three to 4%. So there were some side effects, but I believe many guys, if you're finishing in right around 30 seconds, would probably handle these side effects to last a lot longer. I actually like this study a lot more and I think it's uh, kind of how it's, it's indicative of how we treat our patients here. So this study is titled Prospective Comparison of Tadalafil 5 milligrams, Dipoxetine 30 milligrams, and the combination of both in the treatment of premature ejaculation. So more or less what these guys did is they had three groups. So group A, 92 participants received on-demand Tadalafil 5 milligrams. Group B, 91 participants were given on-demand Dipoxetine 30 milligrams. And group C, 89 participants received on-demand combination of Tadalafil 5 milligrams and Dipoxetine 30 milligrams. What were the conclusions? Both Tadalafil and Dipoxetine are effective in the treatment of patients with premature ejaculation, but the combination of both drugs gives better results. How much better? Let's just take a look right here at this chart. So you can see baseline, group one, group two, group three. I imagine group one is A, group two is B, group three is the combination or group C. Baseline, these guys are right around 40 seconds. So that's the intravaginal ejaculatory latency time chart. So the time that penis penetrates versus the time of ejaculation. So you can see right here, baseline is right around 40 seconds. Four weeks, you can see that Tadalafil and Dipoxetine worked, but the combination worked way better. And then the results kind of stabilized from there. So how much better? You go from 40 seconds to like over four minutes, which is significantly better, but is it worth it? Is the juice worth the squeeze? We're gonna get into that, but first, just to go over the side effects in this study, no statistically substantial variations were found among groups regarding the side effects, except for headache and flushing, which were more prominent in group C, that is the combination group. Now, is going from 30 seconds to four and a half minutes, is it even worth it to have potential nausea, headache, flushing? Well, I did find this study right here. It's from Penn State, Penn State Erie. And more or less what they did is they, they interviewed sex therapists basically, and they tried to get an idea on what was considered the ideal length of time for sex. So right here, in this study, it reads, the average therapist's response to find the ranges of intercourse activity times adequate from three to seven minutes, desirable from seven to 13 minutes, too short from one to two minutes, and too long from 10 to 30 minutes. We made it, boys. We made it. We're right there in adequate. So we went from definitely way too short. If too short is one to two minutes, and these guys were at 40 seconds, definitely too short, right there in the adequate from three to seven minutes. So is it worth it? That's up to you. I mean, I can't make that decision for you, but 
it, you'd at least go from too short to adequate. And if that's enough, then maybe this is a, a medication that you look into. If you are interested, go on my website, Steel Health and Hormone Center, center spelled R-E dot com. Fill out a contact form. We'll be in touch within 24 hours. Now let's talk about best practices. What are some of the things we can do to maximize the pros and minimize the cons? Let's get into that right now in part three. There's a lot of steps I think you should take before you get into the SSRIs, which is number one, are you living healthy? Number two, do you have good blood flow? Number three, do you have good testosterone levels? Because all of these things can impact sexual health. Now, will it help with lifetime premature ejaculation? It's hard to say, but some guys that start testosterone therapy, they say their sex is much, much better. They can last longer. Their erections are stronger. There's a lot of things that go into that. But let's say you've been down that road, you are healthy, your testosterone looks good, but you're still dealing with this premature ejaculation of less than one minute. You're not sure what to do about it. So this is a good medication. And I like the fact that the half-life is so short. And I like the fact that it's in and out of your system so quickly. I also really like the idea of combining it with Tadalafil. So the Tadalafil, yes, it's going to help you last a little bit longer. But if you've never tried Tadalafil, I have, it will make your jaw rock solid. So what's the point of lasting longer if you got like a floppy? So I would say combination therapy as long as there are no contraindications. So this is not just sunshine and rainbows. If you're already on an SSRI, you need to be especially careful because you could potentially have serotonin syndrome. If you're somebody that's on nitrates or you have a blood pressure issues or you have heart issues, maybe Tadalafil is something that you cannot take. It's a contraindication for you. So if you're going to do this stuff, you should be working with a qualified medical professional that you are completely completely open with, you tell them about your health history, you tell them about the other medications. That way, if you qualify for this, we can help you with this. If you're interested in working with a qualified medical professional, I already plugged it. I'm going to plug it again. SteelHealthAndHormoneCenter.com. Go on our website, fill out a contact form. We'll be in touch within 24 hours. That's best practices. Get healthy first, get your testosterone optimized, work with a qualified medical professional so you aren't going to kill yourself, and then do the combination treatment. Again, this isn't medical advice. If you've learned anything in this video, do me a favor, like the video. If you're interested in content like this, we're talking all things health, all things men and women's health. We go from testosterone replacement therapy to female HRT to obviously premature ejaculation or erectile dysfunction. We cover everything. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that type of content, and I will see you in the next video.